I have a fun project in store for us today. It's a GPS dog collar that tracks how long you've walked using this GPS module and Adafruit's 32U4 breakout board. The GPS tracks your movement and a status bar fills up on the OLED display indicating how close you are to your goal. The 32U4 board does all the calculations and drives the screen, but your dog still has to do the walking. You'll also need a needle and thread, some scissors, and some wire edge ribbon. I found mine online, but they have plenty at your local craft store. Inside each edge of the ribbon is a tiny wire. It can be tough to grab, so I used a pair of pliers to help me pull it out and then gather the ribbon along the wire. Use that last little bit of wire to wrap the loose end of the ribbon so it doesn't fray. And then that'll be the starting point of your flower. Follow the side you started to gather all the way to the other end of the ribbon and gather it starting at that end, building up to the knot at the side you just started. When it's gathered very tightly on that one wire, you can use the remainder of the wire to tie off as you did in the beginning and cut the excess wire. The ribbon will be sewed in a big spiral, so test fit your components to get the diameter of that very first circle with the end point meets the first round and hold it there until you can stitch it in place. Your stitches should grab onto that wire through the ribbon and you can continue around the spiral incorporating more and more of the ribbon. When you get to the end, just fold over the tail so the bare wire is not exposed and sew as normal. This hollow ribbon flower has room for my OLED display and the GPS module right in the middle. Since I already soldered headers on my OLED display, I'm going to use these jumper cables with female headers to connect it to the rest of the circuit. I can just rip off a section that's the right width for all of the headers on the OLED. Feed those wires through the center of the flower and also position the GPS unit and then stitch them in place with your plain thread through as many of the mounting holes as you can. For me, this is the two bottom holes on the OLED display, the two regular mounting holes on the GPS module, and also an unused pin on the GPS module to anchor the other side of the PCB. For all my wearables projects, I start on a solderless breadboard and build out from there. Then I usually duplicate the hardware with no header pins so everything's as small as possible. Without soldering, put the ISP headers inside your programmer and just hold them against the contacts of the programming pads to burn the Leonardo bootloader onto the 32U4 board. The code for this project is available on GitHub and after you've burned the new bootloader, you can load it onto your board with a USB cable. Check out Lady Ada's GPS tutorial as well as Tyler's comments in the code for this project to see how to hook up the GPS module to the rest of the circuit. Here I'm using solid core hookup wire because it'll form a rigid connection between this board and the 32U4 board, which will sit directly underneath it. Make your wire connections and then solder and clip off the excess leads. Cut off and save one half of the ribbon cable connecting to the OLED display and start making those wire connections. Before worrying about batteries, I like to test the circuit on a trusted power source like a USB port or a benchtop power supply. Next, take this 3 AAA battery holder and a scrap of fabric and pin and sew a pouch for the battery holder in the fabric. This scrap will wrap around the dog collar and hold both the batteries and the flower design to the collar. Next, connect the power and ground from the battery holder and solder those connections. Check to see that your circuit works before anchoring it to the fabric through the mounting holes on the 32U4 board. Wrap the entire fabric, battery holder included, around the dog collar and stitch it on with a whip stitch. You could just as easily use Velcro tape if you'd prefer. To change the program, switch off the battery pack, plug in the USB cord, and set your goal in miles in the Arduino sketch. I didn't really like how brightly those red LEDs showed through the flower, so I used some black nail polish to blot them out. You could also use a piece of electrical tape. And later on, if I want to use these for a different project, I can just use some acetone to take off the nail polish. There are lots of things that you could do with this project, and I encourage you to try it out and share the results. 
For instance, you could use the onboard data logging capacity to map your dog's walks every day. I hope I've inspired you to go out and make your own GPS project, and I can't wait to see it in Adafruit's weekly show and tell on Google+. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube.